Welcome back everybody, I'm Just a Zach, and today we are going to have a look at Novos Orbis, a roguelike deck building game clearly inspired by Slay the Spiral, which is not a bad thing at all. And I'm very intrigued to give him this a try. We are going to have a look at its official demo, link is as always down below. The full game has no set release date yet. And without further ado, let's just jump right into this. There's no options menu, by the way. I want to point that out. That makes me a little bit sad. I like to have some options. But before we booted up the game, there was actually one cool thing. There was like just a little bit of a teaser, like you know, a black background, some text that essentially tells us we don't know who we are. We don't know what's going on in the world over the world. We just know there's an endless cycle and something like this. So there's already this little tidbit of a story hook, which I find very intriguing. But now let's click new game and break the world. Apparently, I like that. And with this, welcome here in just a sec. What's my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day? First time playing? Well, yes, but not necessarily this type of game. So apparently with this character, and we have 50 HP. We are on the current floor 1-1. One, one, monster blood. Is this... I would guess this is a currency and not our current HP. That these two are different just happened that both of them are 50. We also have the, have the fortify skill, innate. Every time you gain block, get plus one strength for this turn. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So we, we already start with like a perk with an ability, probably because we, in the demo, we selected like this character. I would guess that in the main game, there's going to be a different one. I see the tutorial. I'm going to try and see and try to <laughs> try and see and try and see and try and see in this endless repeating circle where we just try and see no not to play the tutorial and just jump straight into the game to see what it offers so it seems like this is our starting deck we have a kick slashes defend and potion recover 20 hp gain block oh if we hover over it's already seven if not it's five i wonder what that means Deal 5 or 7 damage, deal 3. So I guess that means we already have like some kind of boost. It's not from Fortify though. Interesting. So the question is though, of course, I don't know what the difference between the question mark and the skull is. Okay, there we go. Quote unquote with an options menu, but it's just two slider for the volume. I mean, it's okay for an early demo, but you can't call this a... Uh, how do I go back? Start menu? Restart? Tutorial? Start menu? I... Oh, maybe I should have clicked the same button. I'm an idiot. Welcome. I'm just a Zach, and I don't know what I'm doing. And <laughs> so much for let's jump straight into the game. All right. Let's just, you know, it's an endless circle, an endless cycle with me as well. We still have the fortify ability. Is this a different door? It is. Before it was like portals, right? So question mark or skull? Question mark. Let's go. Start run. Oh, okay, it's like, okay, we are right in the roguelike mechanics already where we have a choice. So it's either question mark like an event or so, or a battle. Got it. Pick a card. So either the power bracelet, the stamp, or the layered armor. Stamp cost two, the others cost one. It seems like stamp has a higher rarity, just judging by the color. But what is the power bracelet? Get uh, strength plus three status. That seems to be permanent for the combat, I would assume. That's cool. So more damage, I would guess. Modify, add or subtract damage dealt, yes. The stamp costs two mana. Add a copy of card in your hand until the end of the fight. It costs zero. That could be good if you had like a good card to copy, which at least currently we don't. Layered armor, get defense plus three status. Okay, defense, modify, add or subtract, gain block. I mean, we have the fortify ability. So every time we gain defense, that means we also gain strength. So I would have gone for the power bracelet. If we were late in the game, I would have probably gone with the stamp. But considering our ability, I think layered armor might be just slightly better. Every time you gain block, get plus one strength. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go with another question mark before we fight. Oh, it's a training dummy. Should I train a little? Such... Ouch! Maybe a little more? We actually gain damage from the training dummy. Oh, But we gained something. Pick a card. Demon form. At 50 block points, get great strength times 4 status. Lose 10 HP. Can't die from this card. What? Great strength. Greatly modify, multiply, or divide damage dead for one turn. Is it like, okay? Sure. Okay, we exhausted ourselves a little bit in the training, and now we have this card. Okay, we can't die from this. Get a bunch of block. Okay. So this is if we really want to win the combat. Oh, no. Uh, well, the, this one has roses. Let's go there. First combat, guys. 
Okay, against three enemies. We have Hachi Tachi. We have the Om... Oh God, Ovomi Seed? I have no idea how to pronounce this at all. Ovomi Seed. I'm... Um, no, no idea. And a Thunder Elemental. I can... I can say that. Okay, do we see, like, their intentions? Action count on five? Ooh. So, it's... Does it work like this? Interesting. This one also is electrified. When attacked, deal damage back. Well, that's not nice. Okay, we also have the potion, which is good. I mean, recover 20. Let's go. You know what? Let's go. Demon form! Oh, man, this is cool. We are on the demon form. Because we gain block, we gain plus one damage. And now we have also great strength. So it's plus one and then times four. Current SP, current combo value. I guess SP is what we need to play. Okay, let's still drink the potion as well. Oh, combo value is down. You 20 damage. Okay, let's go and just kick the enemy. Wait, if I now play defend, I can't afford this, right? Yeah, I do get plus one extra strength, so it's still 20 only. Why is it not 21? Wait, where's my mana? Wait, it still works, right? Okay, this costs zero. Current SP. I should maybe I should have played the turtle. Okay, 20 damage here. This definitely works. Oh, it's split! Well, that's not cool. Now I have. Now I can. Yeah, it's highlighted. Okay, double click. So it's not dragon dropping the card on myself or the block. So this is our energy. Well, we have a bunch of block if nothing else. Cooldown, cooldown. So this is oh, oh, okay. Stuff happens. Okay, 1-1. One, one. These guys are all electrified now. That's not nice. Okay, double-click the block. Multiple at... Oh, okay. Every time I use a card that also advances the enemy time. Of course it does. That actually makes sense. Yeah. Okay, we have slashed here. 8 damage to a target enemy. Okay, 5-5. Five, five. Everyone has 5, so that works. Layer defense doesn't help, so we can definitely get you. Oh, you don't have electrified anymore. Evade one attack, though. So you should evade this. I mean, kind of... Said that you can't drag and drop. It's more like click and do, but hey, it's fine. Okay, end the turn for now. So the Hachi Tachis are done, if nothing else. You guys, okay, you attack. You apparently attacked as well. Man, we lost a bunch of our HP. My healing potion is gone. Didn't tell us that it has like an exhaust, I think. I mean, demon form is gone as well, so I guess these two were, at le let's hope, at least like combat only. Man. Not playing well, am I? Okay, it's fine. Let's get the armor. And I'm gonna try to deal all the damage to you. There we go. And you survived, because I'm bad at math. Okay, we still have seven armor. Let's hope that this is enough. Okay, action cooldown. You attack. You attack to 13 damage. Oh, because it, like, exploded. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. Get the defense. That means now I get 10 block from this. That is pretty cool can play all the cards and kick as well there we go down to 24 next turn so now you act attack we block that that's good so we need to kind of figure out ourselves how much damage the enemies do it seems get this for the extra damage but i think we got this anyway there we go all right first combat very intuitive um still need to learn a little bit more but yeah, the, the more you play the more you understand i think so pick one card draw Oh, okay, if I hover over, does it mean these are the upgraded forms, maybe? To get a glimpse at how these card acts, if they are upgraded, I think so. So right now, better idea is one mana, draw one card, discard one. And the upgraded form would be zero mana, draw two, discard one. I mean, the basic form is pretty useless, but the upgraded one is pretty good. So let's take better ideas. Man, 24, I'm not doing good. Let's go there, question mark, some healing maybe. I want cards. Oh, I can burn cards question is what do we want to burn can i need defense with my layer arm oh the healing potion is actually gone so that was a one-time thing that's pretty bad we still have the demon form but it doesn't help us that much with the he without the healing right oh no okay let's get rid of one block more oh you damaged me as well uh, okay another slash come on let's thin out our deck done already we could even get rid of even more because usually you wanna, in deck building games, you want to have a very tiny deck and just want to have good cards. To be fair, I don't quite know what these good cards is. Better idea again is probably right now my worst card on the deck. But if it's upgraded, it would be very good. 
So choose a card to burn, it will be lost. I mean, we want to have better defense card, right? No, let's get rid Oh god, 9 damage. I'm so greedy. I think I'm going to lose this run, but this is just for test purposes. Let's open the chest. Pick two cards. Add five evasion charges. Evade one attack banana. Very good. Tainted apple. Gain 20 maximum HP. Take 20 damage. Interesting. Attack pillar. Get a great strength times two status. Also pretty cool. I think I want to have the banana. So the question mark is, is this also like a one time... Oh, pick two cards. I mean... Why not the Tainted Apple? Oh wait, gain 20 maximum HP? I'm not sure if this raises my current maximum HP. So maybe the attack pill is a little bit better right now. And there's a healing symbol. I probably need this. Don't be too lazy. Drink! Oh, that was not much healing at all. Wow. So we have to figure out if these are one-time items like the healing potion from previously. I can hide this, that's cool. Okay, lead encounter. Against a magical book, Elements Master, Fire Elemental, Water Elemental. It seems like this one is going to summon a lot of them. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Banana, Light Armor, I only have one kick, so Demon Form wouldn't do that much right now. Okay, let's go, Evasion, charges five. So we will evade the next five incoming attacks, that's good. So technically my armor doesn't do that much, we can't get the Light Armor, because for the... Yeah, we still get the extra block during this entire combat. I mean, I still want to play my cards, of course. So the question is, do I focus on the book or do I focus on the small fry? I have the feeling that the book is just going to summon more, maybe? I don't know. Ah, let's still attack the small fry. Not sure. We gotta learn, right? Cool down. Keep your water, your healing. Oh, that's not cool at all. Ooh, that tech pull. Okay, there we go. Double the damage. Oh, you attacked. You are about to attack, so block first. I evaded. So, it still increases my damage. 16. Okay, we have 3 mana. This could be... It's not enough to get rid of the Elements Master. But the question is, is still, that still the way to go? Should I focus on this one? We still have 2 evasion. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, all on the main guy. Let's try this out. Okay, evasion. We're gonna evade one more attack. Still have a 10 block. Cool down, cool down. Oh, they didn't do anything? So that's still my biggest question mark so far. How does enemy behavior work? Like right clicking doesn't do anything? It's not like it's highlighted anywhere, right? Action countdown, so not really. Oh, better ideas, upgraded. Why is it now zero mana draw two? I mean, that's good, but... I thought that was the upgraded version, so I still don't understand why the baseline was like 1-1-1. Well, whatever. Let's draw 2, discard 1. The question is, do I want to go with the demon form? No, we kind of need HP right now. Yeah, let's go. Discard this. Oh yeah, it takes a turn. Great, should have blocked first. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Still want the block because extra damage. A little bit. So you are about to attack me. Both of them are. We have three mana left. We can get rid of... Okay, I'm just gonna focus on the main guy again. We take some damage. Strength up. Oh, that's bad. But it's not much I can do about this. So they buff this time and kick it. Oh, it's not even enough. Oh, great. Well, let's see what you guys do. Cool down. So you attack. We block this. I kind of block this. I'm pretty much on my end. Well, might as well play this, right? This can't kill us, so you know what? Let's go. 32 damage on you. There we go. Done. 16 damage. I think let's play better ideas first. Oh, now, it, huh? now I drew one and discarded one. Hmm. Okay, on you and 32. There we go. Well, I didn't play the tutorial. I guess that's on me why some... Like here again, we see the upgraded version, so to speak. When does this happen? When does... Oh, maybe it's combo. We have a combo meter, which I completely ignored, of course. That has to be the influence, right? To deal great strength, half status to all enemies. Interesting status. Deal great strength, half status to all enemies. But that's kind of bad, right? That means I'm buffing the enemies. Or is it the damage of my own great strength and half of that the damage? But it says status. 
Hmm. Guess it deals damage. Double your block points. Could be good. Harder than steel. Three, otherwise two. Yeah, these are maybe like block values, right? Uh, combo values, these ones. Um, Tremor Strike. Deal five damage to all enemies. Increase all enemies' action countdown value by two. Guess this, maybe? Oh, question mark. We need healing. Oh, there was... There, did you guys see this? There was, like, uh, there was like a sponge in the background. I wonder if I could have clicked that. Question mark. What's that? Choose a card to use. It will be lost. W okay. This? Pick a card. When drawn, get one action point. That's kind of cool. So I traded that in. I mean, my deck is thin. If an Ooh, what is this symbol? Get some blood? Well, not much, frankly. Ooh, okay. You give me cards, blessings, equipment. I'm pretty sure I skipped at least one item. Yeah, after the late encounter. There was, like, one item. And, because this, this looks cool, but looking at these items, they are kind of not that much visible with so much going on the screen. Like, this is why I missed it earlier. And even this, like, with the white text and the white clouds, it's surprisingly hard to really notice. I really got to concentrate and see, okay, they, these are things... Because it's kind of going, you know, fading into the background with all the things happening on the screen. I hope this makes sense, what I'm saying. Okay, okay, this is where we need monster blood. So cards, get one of three attack skills or special cards, can't afford this. Blessings, 500, get a blessing. Well, I don't have this. Equipment, 200, this costs 100 items. Well, let's get an item then. Okay, potion, probably the potion. Recover half of your maximum HP, which would actually be 25, which is better. A fancy bottle. Uh, I could fill it with some liquid. That sounds good, but let's get maybe the juicy worm. Huh. Not sure how good that is. Okay, let's go. Next combat. Okay, two spiders and a turtle. Emerald turtle. Permanent armor. Don't lose block at the end of the turn. Well, that's not good at all. Oh, okay. This is the combo meter. So because I'm playing this at round zero, for example, this is why I get the benefit. And they are slightly stronger. And if I play this with a combo value of 1, this would be stronger. If I play this with a combo value of 2, okay, yeah. Okay, this is, yeah, very easy to understand. So, of course, 668. Let's start with better ideas. Draw 2, discard 1. Discard which one, though? I mean, this takes a lot. I don't think Tremor Strike is ready yet. Definitely layered armor as well. We want to have some armor. So you guys can now deal 8 damage. Maybe the turtle first, because it's going to armor up, right? So the earlier I get this, the less I have to bunk it. But these guys have less HP. Um, I don't know. Let's go with this. 1-1-3. One, one, Juicy Worm, 25 HP. Spider Web, Strength down. Okay, it's fine. Oh, why do I have great strength so much? And the turn for now. Okay, we did okay. We did okay. Cool down, cool down. Okay, you went into your shell, uh, shell 20 block. That's okay as well. We have one extra mana. And, and I can't make use of it because I drew all my block cards. Ah, this is bad. Plus one. Plus two. Well, six damage. Better than nothing. I could go with demon form, but I don't think it's ready. Okay, that's the trade-off. You have a, essentially a dead card in your hand when you draw the crystal fragment. But of course, you have the extra energy. That makes it a little tougher to use. That's, this is kind of why our draw and discard card is very good with that, actually. Speaking of which, let's play this. Oh, there's the crystal fragment. We drew it, and now we're going to discard it. We have five mana. So we want to try to go demon a trimmer strike going, if possible. We have a combo value of one. This is why these two are highlighted. Okay, slash. Now you deal three damage to enemies, increase all enemies... Bellu, that's good. There we go. Also Emerald Turtle. And the spider is gone. Pretty cool. Great strength. Modify damage dealt for one turn. I have this, but it's not like my damage cards do deal more damage. Hmm. Also, I have nothing to block right now. That means maybe Demon Form is good. Because they're gonna... At least this one is going to attack me and I don't have anything. So losing 10 HP might be a good trade-off. Yeah, let's go Demon Form. 10 damage to you, and 16 damage, so the spider's gone as well. So you attacked, we blocked this luckily, and the turn, down to 29 HP. Okay, you have an action cooldown of 6. So first off, I want to block for extra damage. Deal 8 now, 
plus one. Deal six, increase your value, but it costs two. But uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with this. And the turn, it's now your turn anyway, right? Oh no, it's not. So even if I end my turn, it just decreases the action countdown by maybe two, or at least by a set amount. Interesting. So yeah, turn order very important. I like this so far. Okay, seven damage. This is five damage to increase the value, but cost two. This is fine. Now I want to defend current combo value. There we go. It's, it seems to be always also the same kind of card that increases the combo value. Gain four SPs, mana or punch. You have four damage to target the enemy. This card doesn't change combo value. Hmm. Could be good. That's also just one mana deal four which is worth the, worse than the Slash. So if you are very familiar with the combo, I think that's good. Let's get the Tonic, though, for now. One item, question mark. I like my question marks. Oh, healing. Yeah, it's okay. Another question mark. Sure. Oh, training dummy. Well, 5 HP, 8. Ah, oh, 10 again? I guess it's always like a chance, right? Okay, God Mode. Go to combo 4, gain 2 SP. That's pretty good, though. There's some healing, but there's also treasure. I want the treasure. Pick a card. Backstep or tactical slab? Backstep is a two mana, two combo card. Deal 10 damage to target enemy. When used during combo, go back one combo point. Can't. And then combo two, it actually costs zero. Interesting. Tactical slab. Deal, uh, it's a two mana, three combo card. Deal one damage to target enemy. Also gain one SP. And it's very good if we can get this down on combo 3, because then it's 0 mana, deal 5, and gain 1 mana. So very good with combo. Let's go with backstep, because I think this is a little bit safer. It seems like this is our first boss. Oh man, no idea how good we are. Oh, look at the- you're such a towel! You're such a cute dragon! Or, I mean, kind of half dragon, half like... Um, God, what's- I, I forgot the term, or maggot. A mega dragon, but you're still kind of cute. At least your upper half. Okay, bad idea. This, draw two, discard one. Ah, oh, didn't draw my crystal. Okay, here's evasion four. So we want to get our defense going. Four mana only. Oh, we have got mode though. So slash, slash, backstab. What do I want to get rid of? Tremor struck, I don't think I have the mana this turn. Maybe? Deal seven. Oh, there. Deal 12. And go back. Okay, it's, it's going to await it. That's still fine, all things considered. There we go. God mode. Go to combo 4. Gain 4. I mean, I don't need combo 4, but it's still having the block. Okay, we block this. Evasion 3. It's going to evade a lot, so we need a lot of attacks somehow. Cool down. There we go. There's the crystal. Uh, doesn't help me that much, honestly. Okay, gain the block. Actually, no, I should have done layered defense. That was a mistake. Okay, get rid of the defense. Gain 4 SP doesn't help me either. Ah, oh, man. We need more draw cards, actually. Deep cuts. Okay, we managed to block that. Is it time for demon form? No, because he's going to evade. A wound. Cannot use. When having this card in your hand, every time you play a card, you lose 1 HP. Well, that's terrible. Also, if, we are, if I have block, let's find out. Oh, that was 1 HP. We now attack. We still lose HP. Man, that wound is pretty bad, yeah. Okay, evasion is down though, if nothing else. Cooldown, minus two. Alright. Better idea. What do we want to get rid of? We need some block. Kind of want to have all cards, honestly. Do I need the tonic this turn? Maybe? The action value is pretty good. So defense, maybe I can know we're going to play a lot of cards. Maybe actually the kick. And we need to defend first, because it's going to attack. Three. Did it now add also like a wound to my deck? Not there. Not here. Oh, to the hand. Yes, it did. Would be nice if that would be a little bit more obvious that that happens. You just kind of notice by accident, I feel. Oh, we're going to take a lot of damage. But I think it's worth it. Okay, let's go. I don't get the combo value. Ah, oh, man, at least I have the mana. Come on, there we go. Oh man, down to 13. He's down to 102. 
Okay, it's still our turn though, kinda. Ah, I get another wound, that's so bad. But I gotta play my cards, it's going to attack again. Okay, we kinda block that. There we go, tremor strike. Oh, can't afford the tremor strike. Okay, but down to 94, I need some healing. Do I have anything to heal my deck? I don't. Oh, these wounds. And better ideas, I can't play bad ideas right now because I would draw the wound and I don't want that. Demon form is only good if it guarantees me the win because otherwise I go down to 10 HP and the wound would get me off. Mm, so we're gonna defend. Kick for four, I guess that's the best I can do right now. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, bite and run. Another wound, that's terrible. I have nothing. Bad idea. Get rid of the wound. Um, still can't play the demon form. It's going to evade. Backstab. Kick. Okay, minus two. Blood and run. And we are over. Fair enough. I did not play very well, too, admittedly. But I think I've got the mechanics down, you know? Again, the, I do love that there's a tutorial, but with the combo meter, that was like, quote-unquote, the most complex mechanic. But once you play around, you just learn that naturally, right? And I see already so much potential, like, building a very cool combo deck and everything. Also, I skipped, like, at least one artifact or item during my run, especially after this one elite enemy. But Nova's Orbis, ladies and gentlemen, I think I was able to showcase what this game is about. And frankly, yes, thumbs up. I just want the full game that is going to come out eventually have more characters, of course, just more content in general. More content is always great. Uh, better options menu, <laughs> or at least any prop options menu. But overall, thumbs up from me, Novus Orbus. This is a lot of fun, and I can see this grow only being better, frankly. Uh, and uh, maybe a few more clarity things, like with the abilities of enemies. To make that a little bit more clearer, but even with that, you know, just by playing, it's easy to understand. But this is, as always, only my opinion. Please tell me what you think of Novus Orbis. Please tell me what you think of my video. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Consider sharing the video. Make sure to stay awesome. And we see each other in the next video. Truly, thank you for watching.